you bought more Broadcom. I did. Um, I, I made it a really big position. So Lamb is still the biggest one, and actually it's in the top five of my holdings. And Broadcom is now close, like number six. Um, I think they're going to see. Definitely, they're going to benefit from AI. I don't think it gets a lot of the credit trading at 25 times forward estimates, but they're going to see double-digit total revenues in their AI business, in their networking area, in their um, custom compute business. Also, the cyclicality part of their business, the semiconductor business, should see a recovery, especially because they're tied more towards enterprise. And I think we are going to see an uplift in enterprise throughout 2020. Uh, four. And then, of course, the VMware synergies. I mean, the margin expansion from VMware could be something like 3,100 basis points over the next two years. That is huge. You know I'm a big margin person. You do that, plus double-digit revenues, you've got huge operating leverage. And so I think that 25 times multiple that it's trading at today probably more look, looks more like 2021 20, times.